Hey everybody, what's up? <laughs> Welcome to another unboxing. Today I'm actually quite excited because we have a liquidator that has never before been unboxed on our channel. And it's this. This brown box. This brown <laughs> inconspicuous box. Yeah. But this is from, from Bargain Junction located in Southern Missouri. Super, super excited yeah. about this. So what this is, this is an electronics mystery box because you don't know what you're gonna get. But from what I was reading, it's a mixture between shelf pulls and customer return items. Uh, we should expect to get anywhere from 50 to 100 items in this box, depending upon the size. And there'll be a link to their website down in the description also, uh, because they have lots of options that you can choose from online, also in their one of two locations that you can go and visit. Uh, but it's a great place that we plan on visiting here in the next month or two. Pretty stoked, let's get into it. Hi there, my name is Joe. And I'm Jessica. We are homeschooling natural living entrepreneurs. This is a story of how we balance it all for the freedom to live our lives devoted to our family and faith. Thanks for stopping by, subscribe, and come on in. Let's jump in. I'm yeah. gonna let you go first. Why? You always start us off. Yeah, we've had some good luck since I've started off, yes. so I'll go first. All right, okay, okay. Good game. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pull the first thing out of the box here. Um, it says Playa. Uh, it's a USB-C wall charger. What I like already about this is chargers are great, um, and this is completely sealed. The, yeah. the plastic that goes over it, the sticker part that goes over it is completely Sealed. So I, oh, and here's another one. Oh, is there more? No, just these two. I think there's only these two, but it's also completely sealed. So that's yep. a couple of really good, really good things yep. right there. Not exciting. I like those. Yeah. They yeah. always sell Type C charger, wall charger like that. They always sell. So I think the new MacBooks don't they use the Type C mm -mm. wall chargers? The new MacBooks, the newer ones. I don't think so. I don't know. I think there's like a new computer out there that uses the Type C charger. I could be wrong. Yep. I had my 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 computer's a 2015, I think. Yeah. So. Anyways, okay, um, we've got, this is interesting. Um, Uber, Lyft. Uber. Aren't those like two opposing companies? Lyft, wireless, wireless, Psy, uh, LED lights. <laughs> uh, but it's opened, it's definitely opened and you know. I think it's supposed to be sign. Oh, wireless <laughs> sign. Typo. Is it a sign? It is a sign. Something just fell out. It is a sign. It's a sign. Yeah. I saw the sign. Okay, but why does it only say Uber? I have no idea. Well, it's a sign. It's like a little sign. I guess this attaches to like your window. And, and then, then you can you can like oh, it goes to your on your window thing, and then you slide this yeah. on so that you can when you're on duty, I guess. My and it oh. it lights up. That's cool. <laughs> We should just put it in the car and then drive around. No. <laughs> That'd be funny though. I'm trying to figure out why it doesn't say lift though. Maybe yeah. there's supposed to be two or something. I don't know. I don't see. There's nothing else in there. No. I don't see anything. Is there anything else in the box? No. Nope. I don't know. I have no idea. So I'll have to look into the why it says lift and there isn't a lift sign in here. Maybe you just choose one or the other yeah. or, you know, I don't know. Do people who... there. Are, I know there are some people out there who do this. Like, can you work yeah. for both companies? Are they the same company? They're not the same company, are they? No, no, they're different different companies. Okay, well, there you go. I don't, I'm not sure, but we've got that. So I'll look into it and see when I'm pricing it. Um, this is a bark control collar. Oh, we may not be able to, oh, no pain. No, nope, because it's no shock. Smart, no shock. Smart, no shock. Yeah. I want it to, I want it to, uh, it's, I'm gonna take, there we go. Oh, it lost it again. Okay, well, I'll read it to you then. Smart, no shock, dog bark control collar. Effective and safe bark control for dogs with advanced technology. How does that work if it's not shock? Cause I mean, it's got like a, yeah. well, it doesn't, it, it goes against the skin. It's got the little. If it emits like a noise or something. It's got like the little prongs on the end that obviously go up against the skin. It says dual motor technology, strong vibration. Oh, so yeah. it must be like a, a undesirable like a vibration. Not a shock. I think. I don't think Whitney will like yeah. that either. 
I don't know. To be I, honest, I, I, I think have to ask all her. pet owners should wear a shock collar before they put it on their pet. Yeah, test it out on you first. Yes, <laughs> see how you like it. <laughs> there we go, though. But we got that. So we'll price it and we'll ask Whitney what she yeah. thinks about it. So, and then this is this is cool. Yeah, this is really the box looks super neat. I don't know what it is, but it's rather large. Yeah. Um, would you hold it so I could open it? It almost looks like decorish or something. Dream of flowers. Dream, or it could be some I kind mean, of. I mean, the box doesn't look electronic. Well, I was thinking kind of like spa. Oh, that's possible spa -like, too. Spa like, like maybe like incense or yeah. something. But let's see. It is a piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> And more styrofoam! <laughs> Let me see. I don't know how... Um... Oh. Ah. Oh! It's a flower. And uh, I like, guess it's electronic. It lights up. It's got some LED lights yeah, in there. Yeah, there's, um, there's some LED lights in there. You can see the little that little thing that's shaking yeah. right there. Um, so I guess what you would do is you would just kind of put it in the way that you would want it to and you can light it up. See, this is really cool, really pretty. It's completely sealed in plastic, so it hasn't been used. Um, we had something like this um, at the flea market booth and it took forever to sell. Yeah. So I don't know, it might take a minute to sell, but knowing that it's in brand new condition is really relieving because yeah. if I think we, the one at the flea market though it was like gold plated yeah it was like actual gold leaves Whoa, and it wasn't electronic uh but it did sell uh it just took a while just gotta find some beauty in the beast yeah. lovers because it was that is a really yeah. pretty set there we go all right I'm gonna put this over here you want to go ahead and start yeah. some get some out there all right it's like the first thing we have here is uh iPhone charger. Looks like there's a two pack there. Nice. We could always use those. Yeah. We may not sell them because I could use them. We have a uh, car MP3 player, 60 watt by four. What? I don't know. I mean, it's a car something, it's but got then a the, the 60 Look, watt by four threw me off. Oh, okay. It's a radio, car radio. Oh, is yeah. it like an installed one or do you? Yeah, you have to install it. Oh, okay. So it goes in the car. Yep, okay. it goes in the car. The radio is in the car dashboard. Not in the car, but in in the car. <laughs> in. Yep, it looks to be brand new, unused. So that's awesome. Very cool. Very yep. cool. <laughs> I recognize this box. Oh. Some of you may also, because your eyes be very tired. <laughs> you should check out one of our previous unboxings yeah. for the first experience with that. It is pretty funny. Yep, that's hilarious. So if you ever hear us in any other unboxing videos or, you know, referencing your eyes will be very tired, you're totally in on the joke now. <laughs> Alright, so the next thing we've got is a little, it's a fitness tracker, and I say little because this is actually little, <laughs> uh, but it's a fitness tracker. Looks to be brand new. It still has the activate sticker on there, so that's probably like a 10 or $15 item. Nice. The last item I choose is... Pikachu! Says, oh, sorry. No, don't be picking at me. <laughs> it's a magnet <laughs> cube blocks, ages six and above. It is doesn't it look to be, it looks like it's all taped. And, so uh, what is that? Like, is it like building blocks? Like magnetic building blocks? I guess, I mean, blocks, that's what it looks or? like. See here, it's got like a little castle or something that they're building. So it looks like it's building blocks that are magnetic so you can stack them on top of each other. That's interesting. Yeah. You know, I think by looking at it, you can tell, I think it's more like a Tetris style. Like they're not individual one by one unit, one unit by uh, one unit they're blocks. they're not, no. They're like, they're like Tetris shaped, yeah. 3D Tetris shaped. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Very cool. All right. Let's see what so, it's all worth. Okay. Okay, so price my items here. Um, these guys here, just as Joe suspected, he was right. Um, these are each $15. We'll sell them for $15 a piece online. We'll get $10, so that's pretty good. Um, the, the No Shock Dog Collar also had a few sold for around $15, so we should make $10 off this guy as well. Um, this guy right here, it only comes with one sign. I'm not quite sure why it says Uber and Lyft, but all the pieces that were here, um, they're supposed to be here. So we'll just sell this for a couple of dollars at a yard sale. Um, it's not worth very much. And so we'll just go ahead and do that. 
Um, and then this guy, this little um, decor rose decor thing, it was selling for $41.99. So after shipping and fees, we should be able to make a good $25. Jessica always wins these little rounds that we have. Uh, my biggest winner was this car stereo, and uh, it's only selling for $17.99, so it's something that we will make probably $8 after shipping and fees. We have this Fitness Tracker HR. It's selling for $16.59, so we'll be able to make about $10 after it's all said and done. We got the Magic Cube Blocks. Uh, they're selling for like $14 to $15, so we'll make around $10 after shipping and fees. And then the enlarged mobile screen and chargers, these will probably keep, but if we were to sell them, we could sell both of these for probably two bucks at a garage sale. All right, I'm, I'm looking in this box. There's a lot of smaller items in here. So let's just pull out some of these bigger items and then we yeah. can do like a massive small item something. <laughs> I don't know. Revealing. Revealing, yeah. yeah. Unboxing, I guess. Um, all right, so there, there's some bigger boxes up here. This is a rivet drill adapter. Oh, riveting. Get it? <laughs> I Get do. It? <laughs> How long have you been a dad? I haven't. I don't maybe, even know what that maybe is. Maybe you should leave the dad jokes to hey, the Hey, that was a great dad joke. Yeah. I don't even know what that is, really, so... I'm sure it's for rivets. Yeah, I mean, I don't know exactly what it's used for. It looks like it's been used previously. It's got some wear and stuff on there. And it's just the way that it looks, it's got like some cosmetic blemishes and stuff on it there. So we'll have to appraise it based off of used condition. And, uh, but it goes on a drill and then, I don't know, dudes it, help me. It rivets. Evidently. <laughs> it rivets. All right. All right. I've got a couple of uh, baby fingerlings. They're very popular with the kids. Yeah. Little fingerlings. Oh. You put them on your finger and they say cute things. Um, there's two of them. Yep. Yeah. Two Mias. It says, my name is Mia. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, but yeah. Swing them, pet them, rock them to sleep. Lovable, wearable companions. Hug them, kiss them. They're so sweet. <laughs> All right. They are there we go. very sweet looking. Um, this is a neck band sport earphone. Doesn't seem like it's going to be. fit. Jumma fit. I don't think it's going to be worth very much. Yeah. But, uh, it's sealed, so that's yeah. good. Um, and then, is this what a, is that? Uh, it's a camera Is that a camera lens? It probably won't fit ours. Wouldn't that be cool if it did, though? It would. I mean, that looks like one of those long distance. That's a huge lens. That's not lens. a camera lens. That's a thermos. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because I'm like, there's no way. It comes with a spoon. <laughs> but it looks like a camera lens. See? There's no, that is crazy. I took your item from you. I apologize. <laughs> I got so excited. It is a thermos, yeah. but it's got like a, sta it's a stabilizer yeah. and it's got like the, where you can like adjust the, the thing. You can't do anything to it, but it looks like that's crazy. Wouldn't that be crazy if you were walking around with something like this, yeah. drinking out of it and people would be like, what are you doing? The yeah. giveaway really for me was the spoon. Yeah. Like spoons don't come with camera lenses. <laughs> so there you go. Why don't you grab some stuff? All right. So it looks like we have a limited edition music player. I don't know why it would be limited edition. Uh, music is limited edition. I don't know. Model K7. And uh, it looks to be sealed in its brand new packaging. So that's good. We've got a Amagram nose and ear hair a trimmer. What? Amagram. Amagram. Or Amagarm. Amagarm. It's the name brand. But just basic nose hair trimmer. The box is damaged. This can't be worth too terribly much. And then we have a professional food grade thermometer. Ooh. That is, it's sealed there. Still the bottom hasn't been opened. So I'm not going to open that because I don't want to get it out and then have to sanitize. You know how it goes. Yes, for sure. All right. And then we have a LCD. Writing LCD. 
to write. Tablet. Writing tablet. I mean, the packaging isn't too expensive, so I can't imagine. Um, but yeah. What in the world? I think it's just you write on it. Yeah, but what is this? The little pen. Where's the pen at? Oh. I guess you gotta charge it. That's neat. It doesn't feel super high quality. Yeah. But you charge it. It can't be worth more than ten dollars. You can't even see it. Yes, you can. It says she is funnier than me. <laughs> uh, one, if you think that's true. Two, uh, if we're both equally as funny. Nope, I'm funniest. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what you're saying. I don't know how to erase it. I don't know. We're gonna have to charge it because we have to erase <laughs> it. But this is probably gonna be a garage sale item. Yeah, we'll see. Um, it's cool looking though. Yep. And then the last item I have here is a 10-in-1 steam cleaner. Woo! Uh, hopefully it has not been used. Doesn't look used. No, not so far. Hmm, no, I think so. It's all in its plastic. Here, I'll hold it up so you can. I don't know what the little cloth is for. Yeah, I mean, you can see. It's got a bunch of little attachments all wrapped up in little baggies and uh, looking at the, And you know, you have to put water in this to use it. Yeah. So you'd have some kind of water residue. Looking at the cord, sorry I interrupted you. Looking at the cord, it doesn't look like it's ever been unwrapped from the factory. You can just tell when extension cords or power cords have been wrapped at the factory. It's different. I don't know what they do, but it's quite neat. So it looks brand new. So let's go ahead and find out what all this is worth. All right, so I priced my items. This riveting, rivet <laughs> drill adapter was about $11. So we'll get, I don't know, five or $6 for this online. Uh, pretty easy to ship. I'm actually kind of surprised about this guy right here. This is the, the Jami Fit, Jami Fit, the headband. Uh, in-ear headphones. I checked it both on Amazon and eBay, averaging about $24.99. So we can make probably like $18, somewhere around there for this after shipping and fees. This interesting uh, thermos that looks like a camera lens. I don't know, the more I look at it, the more it intrigues me. So I don't know, maybe I can convince Joe to let me keep it. But if not, uh, it's selling for about $15, a little less than, so we'll get a little less than $10 for this one. And then these guys here, I thought they sold for more, but I was seeing them on eBay, which is where we would list them anyway, um, and they weren't selling for very much. Uh, so honestly, I think my best bet would be to just sell it like at a garage sale for a couple of dollars, but I think I might keep these for stocking stuffers for my girls. So we're gonna go ahead and just count that zero. All right, so looking at the couple items, this uh, Gora May, Thermometers only selling for like ten dollars. It was kind of confusing uh, when I looked at professional gourmet food thermometer. I couldn't find this exact one, but there was one that was like seventy dollars. I was like, "Are you kidding me?" Uh, but then there was one that was like eight dollars. So I'm like, "Ah, somebody just didn't pay attention or something." Uh, but we'll price it for fourteen ninety nine and hope to make ten dollars from it. This anagram nose and garm and a garm nose hair trimmer is only selling for like seven dollars so we'll probably put it at a garage sale for like two bucks the uh yafayette lafayou i don't know the bluetooth headphone uh not headphones but bluetooth speaker the limited edition one i couldn't find this kind anywhere but bluetooth speakers like this they sell about 24 bucks so that's what we're going to price it at in hopes to get 15 dollars after shipping and fees 
and then this steam cleaner 10 in one they're selling for about 25 to 30 bucks uh, online there's some that are lower there's some that are a lot higher but we'll end up pricing ours for probably 27.99 uh, and after it's all said and done hope to make ten dollars profit once it does sell as a doula this came to me right i saw it right away it's a an automatic double breast pump uh, i'm looking at it no i'm not trying it out don't get any ideas <laughs> <laughs> um it looks like it's never been used yeah um so that's great most got the hoses still sealed in the wrapping. Yeah, these are all completely sealed, so that's, so that's good. good. That's good. You know, there's different kinds of breast pumps. Uh, some of them are, do you can maintain resale value if you want to talk more about that. Just reach out to me if you do get a breast pump and you're not quite sure. Um, it is perfectly fine to resell breast pumps. It just depends on what kind it is and what all goes with it. You may have to replace some parts. But other than that, like re re breast pumps, perfectly resellable for the most yep. part. Uh, as long as all the parts that touch the human body get replaced if they're you know what i'm saying anyway so just message me if you need to know um i do have uh, a couple pairs of headphones here um the, this one is a panasonic which i'm hoping that means that it's a little bit more yeah um and then these are not any kind of specific brand so they're probably not gonna be worth very much uh but i will check on it yeah um and then i have these Oh, but yeah, but they're they sync to oh, music. Oh, so those will sell pretty soon. Yeah, I mean, like you know, like Christmas light type yeah, things cool. where, like, when the music plays, like it'll sync dun, to the music. Dun. Oh, that's that's dun dun dun. dun. That's not dun dun. 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 That's T S. So you're talking about transparency. Yeah, right? but I was thinking dun, like, dun, dun, dun. how does that go? I don't know. I was like, dun 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 dun. That's not dun, 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 can't touch this. <laughs> no. <laughs> this shows I'm an '80s baby. She's not. <laughs> it's entire, it's, I can hear it in my head, yeah. but I can't make it come out of my mouth. But looking at it, it is perfectly boxed in, awesome. like not touched at all. So we could sell these like new. Yeah. So I'm pretty excited. What do you got? All right. So I'm grabbing this little dude, big dude, little dude. I don't know. It's a dude. Uh, it's a guy. It's a vibrating fitness roller massager. Ooh, so not only do you get to roll yeah. out your muscles, but you get like a little vibration yeah. action in there too. That's... Uh, you want that, don't you? I don't know. You know, I have really tight IT bands, and it may help me. And I don't shoulders, know. too. Yeah. His shoulders right here always rock. They hard. are. So, next thing we have is a, it's not electric or electronic, but it does plug into electric. It's vintage <laughs> Edison bulbs. Um, yes, I'm very excited about this one. But it'll still <laughs> <start. laughs> <laughs> All right. We have a... Charging dock. Like that. Did you? Yeah. I think it's just the same box. It is. No, there you go. Yeah. You can it's see the bright green in the box. <laughs> it's a charging dock for an iPhone 5 Quit or 6. It, uh, which people still buy iPhone 6s, so we'll still put this on eBay and it will sell. And it looks like we have. What are those? Oh, those more, are those bark boxes? More of the barking boxes. We've got three more of those. Hey, look what I found. Also, ah. more of the headphones that were like $10 a piece. The Type-C uh, wall oh, chargers. Oh, the wall chargers, yeah. yes. The ten, they're $10 a piece. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, I think that's, I'm looking around. I'm just looking through. Hey, babe, we should do some uh, small stuff pricing. Okay. After this. All right. Hold on, let's price these first, though. Yes. All right, guys. Not a lot of high dollar items I'm seeing. So um, I, I did price these sync to music um, lights. They're about $24.99 for 50 feet, which this is 50 feet. Um, and so we'll make probably about 20 bucks on that. Uh, maybe 15, it is a little heavy. So we'll go ahead and say 15 just to be conservative. Um, these two here are um, headphones and they're not selling for anything more than $10. So we'll make $3 a piece some local garage sale. Um, don't forget about the wall chargers that I found more of. We priced these at the beginning of the video, if you'll remember, and we'll make $10 a piece. Um, and then this breast pump is a, a lower value item. It's very, um, you know, a general item. So it's not selling for more than $20. We'll make $10 after shipping and fees there. So, uh, you know, it's just not, not a whole lot of, a whole lot of money here yet. 
All right, so looking at my items, we have the little iPhone 6. And they can be used for iPhone 7s and 8s also. Uh, it's weird. There's been one that has sold here in the United States for like $9. And then there's one that sold from the UK for like $27 plus shipping, which I thought was crazy. I don't understand how it can do that. So we're gonna end up pricing these for $14.99 and uh, hopes to get $10 profit out of these. The dog no shock collars, only strong vibrations. Uh, we'll get $10 for these, so that's 30 bucks right there. We've got the Edison glass bulbs. Um, these are a challenge to sell, because it's a six pack. They're only selling for like $10 online. The 12 pack is going for like $20, so we'll end up having to sell these locally at a garage sale for probably around three, four bucks. And the winner uh, of that round in the biggest dollar amount item that we've had so far is the vibrating massage roller. Uh, it's selling, I couldn't find this exact model. Uh, on eBay, the prices, they range from like 50 to $150. But pretty consistently on Amazon, this style right here goes for around $79.99. So that's what we're gonna pr price it for uh, in hopes to make $60 profit after it's all said. What you doing back there? Um, I pulled out all of the lower dollar, what I thought would be lower dollar yeah. items. Um, I'm thinking these would all, all of this here would be like one to two dollars a piece. Um, you know, it's just little stuff that's like, you know, like these like data cables here. Um, these are just basic headphones and cases. Mm -hmm. um, I've got cute little cell phone cell phone case but yeah. you know it's just a, it's very it's not like really protective it's just a case cover um this is an i7 plus case that's clear yeah um then i've got more headphones more headphones this is a charger uh charger cable yeah this is one of those ethernet i cables. see little data cables tempered glass here for a I don't know what kind of phone I know it's an iPhone I just don't know which which one yeah um, there's that one these are all this one looks like a this is a data cable these are what I believe to be just uh, I don't know I can't okay Apple, Apple yeah it's like a lot of the cables we used to get when we used to buy the Amazon small box truckloads all these items under is that a type C charger yep, that's a type C charger you want that? a long one too a six foot there you go. Yeah. Um, this is trash that I had pulled out. And this a uh, uh, flash drive, right. um, which you could actually connect to an iPhone, which is kind of mm, cool. That's neat. Um, lightning cables here. Car charger for a lightning cable. Another car adapter. It's got like three of them, doesn't it? Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's neat. We may have to take that. All right. Um, and then this is an, another set of headphones. So like all of this here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Well, you're keeping that. 14, 15, 16, 17 loops. We'll just say this is $17. So a thing to remember about a lot of these small lots, and I don't know, some of you may know, if you've watched us for a while, you hear me talk about numbers a lot. And that's around numbers with the percentage of items that sell for under $30. I don't know if you knew that, but 90% of all online sales are for items $30 or under. That's a lot of a lot of low dollar items. So of this lot of 50 to 100 items, we're expecting 90% of this to be under $30, which it has been. Um, and then of that 90%, 50% of those items are items $12 or less. So I think you can see where we are getting what is normal, uh, but it becomes a challenge because sometimes it's about playing the odds, the calculated gamble with buying liquidation, especially small lots like this, is that you're playing the odds that you are gonna get more expensive items uh, and not so many of the lower dollar items which we have got today. But we've got some left, so maybe there's a couple more items in there that are high dollar, uh, but we'll have to unbox it to see. Alrighty then. Jumping right in. Um, C case. Mm -hmm. And it's sealed. 
and it's sealed and the thing on the back says E8 black. I know you probably can't read that. We're gonna have to open that up at some point. May as well do it now. Yeah, I'm curious. Well, I mean like I hate I'm to do it. headphones. Yeah, I'm thinking headphones. Probably yeah. headphones. So. When you go to resell a lot of these items, it can be a bit of a challenge to finding out what exactly they are to find out in descriptions. We've learned to use Google Lens to take pictures of the items and it has helped us significantly find the items so that we can pull information to help build our listing. So, headphones! Earbud headphones. Earbud headphones. Yeah. You were right, babe. Sometimes I know what I'm talking about. Yep. Sometimes. Yes. All right. Um, a blue box that says ex exceeding excellence. But that box is damaged. This box is not exceeding excellence. Yeah. <laughs> it is a. There's two things in this. All what right. Is that? It's a battery case for an iPhone X. And these are headphones. So yep. they must have gone come together like at some kind. I of gotcha. And these, we are not even going to try and sell online. These are, uh, they look like the Apple AirPods um, that eBay's pulling listings like crazy because they're technically, they look like AirPods. So they've kind of been counterfeited. Yep. So those will be like a local garage sale for a couple but butts. A couple, couple bucks. Of butts. <laughs> Just a couple of butts will get you those. <laughs> please, please don't leave your butts I in know. your pants. Wireless beanie. I don't even know why. So that you can listen to music and take calls without having to put the phone up to your ah, ear. Ah, I gotcha. So you can even be in class with your beanie on. Listening to music and nobody listen would to music. know. See, they didn't have those things when I was in college. Genius, right? I just went to sleep like this. I learned how to sleep <laughs> sitting up. My high school algebra teacher, story time, uh, she, was, she said, I don't care if you sleep in class, but you can't sleep slouched over or with your head on your desk or with your head on your arm. So I learned to sleep like this, sitting like this, and uh, it paid dividends in college. Ridiculous. Yep. This is a piggyback remote. So I guess you put that on the back of your regular universal remote so that you can have Fire TV voice control. I gotcha. Uh, on your remote. That's kind of interesting. That's That genius. is very interesting. Kind of genius, really. Yep. Um, and then I'll just do one more here. Uh, this is a hair remover for all skin types, body and legs. Nice. It's like a razor, I guess, type thing. It is. I don't is. think, that's crazy. Yeah. It's like a little small, it just goes in the palm of your hand. And you, yep. Cool. Yeah. Cool beans. What do you got? Oh, you would. <laughs> you this would. is a electric fly swatter to kill mosquitoes, zaps in one touch. Uh, I used to have one of these uh, and I left it at my mom's house and they confiscated it. So mom, if you're watching, I got my replacement. <laughs> <laughs> we have black case. Mysterious black case. Mysterious black case. Ooh, that's a really nice like heavy duty battery charger. Oh. It's like a portable battery charger. It's got the outlet so you can plug it in. What's on and the bottom of that? It's like a little, ch oh, it's got built-in charging cables also. That's ours. That is nice. For as much traveling as we do now, uh, and with the kids in the car, that's gonna come in handy. But we'll see how much it sells for. I don't even know if it's got the brand on it, because it's... It's got one lightning cable for iPhone, and then it's got one the, uh, uh, regular. I wish it had a Type-C charger. That'd be cool. uh, but it doesn't, but it does have for the tablets and for the iPhone, so that's cool. Yeah, but it also has this right here where you could just put yeah. your Type-C charger in there. But it's not the same! I'm sorry, baby. I'm I know. Alright. We have a uh, dimmer switch for a lamp. Lamp dimmer and remote, so I guess you can plug it into a lamp. It's got the little outlet right there. You can plug it in and then you can dim it oh. with that. So that's kind of cool. Hook it up to your phone. We have a WD Green Solid State Drive. Um, SSD. Yep, there we go. We have a brown box. <laughs> uh, it's an automatic battery charger, so says the label. Oh, 
That looks kind of heavy duty. Let me see. See? Oh yeah, that's yeah. like a real hardcore. Oh, oh it's oh. for a uh, like a battery, like a yeah. You could battery. you could plug this into your. <laughs> What's happening? Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait. Do you charge this from your car, and then it charges this, and then you can then? That can't be right. Maybe you charge your battery with this. You plug it in, and then uh, I think that's what it is. It's a battery charger is what it says. So okay, that's yeah, what it's got look, to be. It's got two, yeah. one for black, one for red. Yeah. And then you plug black and red in their appropriate and spots. And then you can charge your battery. And then you can charge your battery. That doesn't seem very heavy duty at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like any battery charger that I've ever seen. Um, so that's interesting. It's convenient and compact. As long as it does. It almost looks like it can be installed. Yeah. Because it's got the holes. That's weird. That is very weird. We may have to do a little bit of research because we may not even know what we're talking about in this item. I have a feeling we don't. I mean, that's usually would, the case. It wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> I always know what I'm not talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I always know when I'm full of it. Big money. Big money, 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 money. All right. Levatic hair remover for all skin types, body and legs. This is selling for $16.99. I should be able to get, I don't know, like $10 for that. I've got the piggyback remote, universal TV remote, and add on like two of these. Um, they're selling for about $15, so I should be able to get $10 a piece for these guys as well. And everything else, <laughs> not very much. So I've got the uh, wireless beanie. Um, not, I think it's selling for like $9 online. So I could make a couple of dollars on eBay or I could, you know, not use so much labor and just go ahead and put it in a garage sale, which I would probably do for about $2. The same thing with these headphones. They are about $10 plus ship, including shipping uh, on eBay. So I'll just go ahead and put those for a couple of dollars. And then of course, because of the counterfeit claims on this, this will be a set for about three dollars on, um, what's that thing Gosh. called? Garage sale. Garage sale. I know I said it like five times, but <laughs> I forgot it that time. So I fared out better. Fared out better. I fared better. I fared better. I fared better than Jessica this round. So we've got the WD Green. Uh, I don't know something to do with a computer. It's selling online for like. 35 to 40 bucks so we're gonna price it for 37.99 get $30 profit when it's all said and done and then we have the light dimmer switch it's selling for 35 to 40 dollars also uh, so we're gonna price it for 34.99 get around 30 dollars after it's all said and done as well and then the battery charger thing you remember super cool these are selling for around 30 to 35 dollars so we'll price it 34.99 and uh hopes to make $20 uh, potential profit and then it, if we were to sell the uh, battery charger pack these are selling for about 20 bucks but we, we, we really like it uh, and we need it uh, so we're gonna keep it but we could sell it for 20 bucks let's do this we got a few things left in this box I think we can just try and get through it here I've got another breast Ooh, it's pump. another one yep so that's great because it makes it easy because we can make you know one listing put a quantity of two out there yeah makes it so much easier save just a couple bucks in labor yeah for sure um i've got uh, a box she's um, got a box it's a really great box <laughs> great box uh and it's got it's got a, oh, it's a an iMac macbook oh. charger nice. it's weird that it doesn't have the uh oh here it is yeah okay cool yeah so we're probably going to keep this we always need extra charging cables for those. For everything. Yes. Because, uh, you know, some people just don't put things back where they find them. I put everything back where it goes. Y'all seen my garage and my constant <laughs> rearranging. And 
Uh, we love him for story it. Story time, I'm always asking, like, Whitney, like, she knows where everything is. I'm like, Whitney, have you seen where I put my hammer three weeks ago? And she's like, oh, yeah, it's on that shelf over there, third shelf down from the bottom. And I'm like, what? Are you kidding me? And then I'll go over there, and it's right there. I don't know how she does that. I don't know. It's magical. Yeah. Everybody um, needs a Whitney in their life, though. <laughs> I, I don't think, I think we would lose the heads attached to our shoulders if it wasn't for yeah. Whitney. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Ultrasonic dog chaser. I have no idea. Better than supersonic. Supersonic dog <laughs> chaser. <laughs> Sonic boom! It's a training aid, bark stopper, harmless to dogs. I don't know. It's got to be a, a noise frequency thing. It has to be. I don't want to test it on Desi, though. No, Whitney will be mad. Yes. Um, this is open, but it's a wireless charge dock for the iPhone 8 or higher. All right. Or the I any of the iWatch series. It's like a $15 item, roughly. It's got to be. I'm guessing. I mean, that, that sounds yeah. about right. So, there's that. Let me just grab a couple more. You're on a roll? Yeah, I'm on a roll. Uh, wall charger. Premium. Premium wall nice. charger. Headphones in a bag. That's it, though. Why they couldn't make a box with it? I have no idea. It's just in a bag. Yeah. <laughs> Um, why don't I just do like, I get these three, you get the rest of them? Yeah, that's fine. Um, I've got three, let's see, let's see, this is a magnetic charging cable. Yeah. It's like another 15 bucks. Yep. These are some Philips, uh, uh, shaving heads is what they are. Um, so I don't know, like replacement parts for razors like that can be pretty good money. Yep. So I wanted to check that. And then this is an electronic pest repeller. I guess it's like a plug-in. I don't really exactly know how it repels pests. I have no idea. Uh, it says ultrasonic, so it maybe sound. Yeah, and there's six units in there, so wow, I don't want to keep all the spiders away or all the bugs away. Yeah. Uh, so, I don't know. If y'all know how the technology works, put that down in the comment section. We're always uh, interested in learning yeah. new things. So, all right, why don't you grab the rest all of the right. stuff in the box? The first item I have is this Electronics Explorer 50 Bluetooth headset. I guess it's not a, yeah. yeah, it's a headset. Earpiece, I would call it. We have a Pelican battery, not a case, but a Pelican phone case for a Samsung Galaxy S8. We have a I'm blood, sure. like... a blood pressure monitor for your wrist thing. So it looks to be new. I know we had one in a recent unboxing where it had been used, and uh, as long as it's new, I feel comfortable selling yeah. it. But I want to check it. Yeah. Yep. It looks to be all sealed. A consumer would not care to put it back in that neat not saying that everyone because there's that one person that would but most people they would just shove it back in the box yeah let's think oh it's like a yeah. cleaner like you know you it looks dirty yeah i don't know if that's been used but it's like a face scrubber it's got some different accessories. I think it's been used before. I think we it's got missing. A, yeah. Oh, here it is. Okay. Yeah, it's got some smudges that. on it. These aren't very expensive to begin with. And I wouldn't sell it because yeah. some of the accessories just are just not very pretty. Yeah. So this will be a zero. We have another uh, wireless magnetic here, I'll look charger. I'll look at mine. All right. We have an iPhone 6 power case. It's a battery case, so extend your battery life. A box, an open box with a seat belt. Seat so, belt? Yeah, two pack extension seat belt. Oh, seat belt extenders. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. So, that's not electronic. No, but I bet that would sell. Yep. Yeah. All right, you got three more items in there, babe. We're almost through. So we have a dual USB charger. I think we put this in a garage sale box earlier. We had one like this, a three foot lightning cable. Just a basic charger. We've got a... Uh, Something. It's like a microphone or speaker. No. Really? Well, I mean on here it says... Uh, it feels like a speaker. But it's so lit. Oh, it's just, it plugs in. Yeah. It says on here, 
uh, conference microphone Skype recording gaming. So it is a, a little microphone. So it's a profile one, it's pretty cool. Hmm. Can't be too much, but it's still neat. I've never seen one this small before. Yeah. And that's the uh, seat belts. Okay. And then this one guy is just another set of seat belts. Yeah. And that, my friends, is the bottom of the box. Yeah. So let's go ahead and price these last few items and see what we end up. All right. All right, last round here. And I've got quite a bit of stuff here. So these these guys here, the magnetic charging cables, they're selling for like $10 on um, eBay. Um, I think I'm just gonna, you know, save labor and just go ahead and just sell those locally for a few dollars. Same with this ultrasonic dog char charger. I couldn't find this exact brands, but there was a lot of varieties of brands out there and none of them were more than nine dollars so that being said these are garage sale items i've got um this phillips well, i can't ever remember shaving heads replacements that i could ever remember what that is um but these right here they're selling for about 13 dollars. so we'll make we can make a little less than ten dollars on that and we're probably going to keep this um if you remember it is a uh, macbook charger cable but if you were to sell it they're selling for about $15 on eBay so after shipping and fees you should be able to make a good $10 in potential profit um, this is this is a blue gaming headset um, I looked this up I found a red one for $24.99 so if we were to ship this we could sell it for the same um, and maybe make a little less than $20 for that maybe $18, $18 or so um, and then uh, this guy selling for $20 uh, so we can make 15 off of that that's not bad I, th I actually thought it'd be less but Joe's nodding his head over there like he's like oh yeah I knew that oh I was impressed oh okay yeah yeah because I was like I thought <laughs> I thought it would be less but yeah and then if you remember this is about $20 um, on eBay so we'll make a good a uh, little less than 15 um, off this guy um, we'll make about $18 off him. Um, he's selling a little, like about $22, $23 on eBay. And then, believe it or not, $25.99 for these. So if we sell these online, we should be able to make a good $20 for that. And uh, that's it for my stuff, so. Alrighty, so the Planetronics Bluetooth earpiece nut headset uh, is selling for like 35 to 40 bucks. Uh, there's been a couple that have sold for varying prices, so we'll price it for $37.99, make $30 profit. The seat belts, remember the two-pack seat belts? They're actually selling for more than I thought that they would. They're selling anywhere from $20 to $24, so we've got two of them. We'll end up pricing them for $19.99, make around $14 profit after they sell. The, you know, you know, uh, the little microphone, it had that real slim, sleek looking look. Uh, these are selling for like 25 to 35 bucks. So we'll price it for $27.99, make $20 profit once it does sell. And then we have the Alpha Med blood pressure monitor. It's selling for around $15. So that's what we'll price it at $14.99, make about $10. And then these, three little guys as Jessica would say these guys uh, are all <laughs> local sell items uh, we'll sell them a garage sale for like a dollar or two so we'll call three dollars for all of these if we get any more out of it then that's awesome all right everybody so that is a wrap that's a wrap and our camera's all crooked so I apologize our to camera's you out crooked there. Um, I'm feeling a little crooked after this feeling unboxing. crooked not really so not just, really <laughs> You just gonna repeat everything I say? Everything he says. All right, so we just did the math, and uh, remember we paid $399 and like $33 shipping for this lot, so we were all in for like $432. And we did the math, we're looking at $653 in potential profit after shipping and fees, which is not doubling our money. No. Nope. Not doubling our money at all, so we're like a good, $200 short of being able to double our money. And then when you throw in labor, because remember we don't list 
this stuff. We have uh, a lister, we have Whitney and Wally that list right. and do prices for us. So we're looking at about $150 in labor to get all this stuff listed. So we're really only looking at, for us, like 70 something dollars profit, potentially, for us so granted we did keep some of these items for ourselves so right. if we weren't to keep those we would probably add another 50 or 60 dollars to that but it's stuff that we need and plus we bought it it's ours if we want to keep it we can yep um but we're going to give them another shot because we know with liquidation it is hit and miss sometimes you get a great box sometimes you get an amazing box sometimes you get a box that's like okay that's just okay but it's the whole ball game that you want to play it's not just one at bat right. it's not just one inning so anyways we will give them another shot we will be buying from them again in the future and we do plan on visiting them when we do go to missouri again to buy more pallets so i hope you enjoyed this unboxing just keep in mind we do unboxings every week so stay tuned yeah um, and until next time peace, peace.